gentlemen, welcome to this performance of the outrageous new musical, Three in the Bed by Jonathan Holmes. At this time, we ask that you turn your mobile phones on vibrate and place them securely in your crotch. This production contains coarse language, sexual references, simulated sex, partial nudity and moderate butt play. Therefore, if you are the type of person to have sex with the lights off, it is recommended that you do not see this show. Now is your last chance to leave the auditorium. No? You've decided to stay? Of course you have, you dirty bitch. The use of flash photography is not permitted as the only flashing that should be done is by the cast. Footage of the show will be available on Pornhub for your personal viewing. And patrons in the front row be warned. You will get wet. <laughs> Dreams up. If you fought for two minutes, 
another ceramic pineapple. We already have three ceramic pineapples. What makes this one so different? It's green, but anyway, I can't believe you want dinner with my parents. We always have dinner with your parents. It was so awkward explaining we were with your parents. Why won't you go to mine? They're mean. They just need to get to know you better. I think they've made up their mind. Maybe if you occasionally came to dinner. That's a stop sign. You just went on and on. To rush. I need to pee. Rest off. I can't believe you'd bring up losing my demerit points. Like you haven't ever lost a few demerit points. I have to drive because you lost your demerit points. How long before you drive? Six weeks, but anyway. I can't believe that you still text while you were driving. That phone is so attached, you still text while you're driving. It's like you're cheating with your phone while you are driving. Jessica, you know, I see all the texts you get from Jessica. It's pretty clear there's something going on with Jessica. You gotta know she likes you. Really? No way. Everything is seriously just platonic. Uh, why don't you open your eyes? If you think I go there, you're just moronic. What a fat lie.
He always talks to me about them and stresses that he loves them, which means he loves me.
myself And even longer since I was a single guy What do I do? Who do I talk to? Why do I feel so shy? Oh, come on, Tim At least you've got a try Should I talk to girls? No, I shouldn't but why not? You've been single for at least ten minutes. <laughs> Should I watch the world go by while I sit and wait here for my life to finish? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> a party by myself, and even longer since I was a single guy. Hi. Hi. What did I do? Why did I say that? Who picks up a girl with hi? You're not her type, or anyone's type, but especially you better freaking lie. Does she want me to be? I'll be it. Maybe she wants a bad guy. I'll thank her, upset her, allude to a life of crime. <laughs>
I mean, I mean, you get all dressed up and you go there and then, then you go home. Why don't you just skip to that last part? I don't think kids are being or funny is what she wants from me. If only I knew she wanted me to be. I don't think I can succeed and I have to concede that I have been This girl's out of my league. Don't know what I can do or if I can get through. And I won't get through. Might as well. It's been a while since I've been to a party by myself And even longer since I was a single guy What do I do? Who do I talk to? Why do I feel so shy? I'm such a douche <laughs> Yeah, at least you tried when you're not being a douche. I project douchey films for douchebags who like big douchey blockbuster movies. Ah, so you work with Jeffs? Yeah. I swear to God, if I see another rom-com about casual sex turning into a relationship, I'm gonna puke. <laughs> I'm studying film though, so I'm hoping to make less douchey films or douchey film festivals. Have you got any ideas? I'm working on some. I, I just don't know what to say. Say what you feel you want to say. But I, I don't know what I feel. Yes, you do. You just don't want to say it. So, uh, what do you do? Oh, I'm studying journalism, but I work part-time as a receptionist at a sperm bank. <laughs> Is that a joke? Mm, I wish it was, but hey, at least I'm never lonely. I'm sorry? Well, I'm surrounded by millions of potential people every day. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, a sperm joke. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that you meant that people were depositing at reception. <laughs> Would you like to make a deposit? No, I'm good, thanks. <laughs> so why did you want to talk to me? Well, it's a party, I've got to talk to someone. Yeah, but why specifically me? You look too friendly. Friendly? Guys, don't talk to girls because they look friendly. Okay, I think you're pretty.
absurd. I'll tell you the things that you should have heard. You have got an energy that surrounds you. There is a spark of magic in your eyes. <laughs> you have got a smile and bite that I'm bound to.
Your parents haven't come home early, have they? Jesus, I hope not. I guess it's one of your friends.
I can see that. <laughs> what about you then, cry baby? Have you seen my girlfriend, Zoe? <laughs> Have I seen your girlfriend, Zoe? Have I seen your girlfriend, Zoe? Have I seen your girlfriend, Zoe? Have I seen your girl girlfriend, Zoe? Have I seen your girlfriend, Zoe? I have met a number of people here tonight, a, a significant number of people here tonight, and they may or may not have specified their names. I guess some people don't like to give themselves away. What with WikiLeaks and the cloud you should avoid? Uh, personally, I don't go for that, but I'm a paranoid. Because I think it's important for certain information to be a public knowledge for the safety of the nation. The problem is those details, they're easy to forget. The passwords and pin numbers are floating around your head. It's hard to remember just what thing goes with what. And where's my freaking car keys? And which one is my slot? And don't you get me started with learning people's names. I don't even know which one is which in of games. From the task at hand. <laughs> Zoe's very normal. A name that I can stand. But have I seen your girlfriend, Zoe? Sorry. I couldn't say. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm not sure I want either. Bad news is there was a triad. Yes, I previously got it. So, after that fight, when you drove off, I assumed that meant that we were off, and so I cried, <laughs> but shook it off, <laughs> until my pants fell off, and so you see that this is all a great misunderstanding, so let's pretend it's not your fault. <laughs>
sorry. I mean, if I had known, then yeah, I would have... Yeah, I know. You're still in love with Emma. Couple screws. 
Sorry. Sorry. There is no right answer to this damn dilemma. Shit, shit, shit.
Yoksa? Yes. This is exactly what it looks like. Yes. 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 Tied down at the moment. <laughs> this might be a good time to tell you that Zoe and I are together now. What? What? What the fuck am I? I come here with sex stuff to get you back, and this is what I get? What? By sleeping with him? I thought it was Tim. It was dark. Like, really dark. Are you drunk, Emma? Just a tiny smidgen bit. <laughs> <laughs> Is it true? Are you with him now? No. Maybe. Yes. Oh, I don't know. I thought I lost you forever, but it's you that I really want. But it's true you're with him for a minute now. I just didn't want to be alone. Oh. So if you couldn't be with me, you'd just be with anybody? Okay, that kind of meant off that one. No. I think it came out the opposite of wrong. <laughs> Not wrong. <laughs> Sex is one thing. A threesome is another thing. A rebound is another other thing. <laughs> but you don't love me. You just can't stand to be alone. And that is another other other thing. It's over. Well, Tim, I guess you just have to choose. Is it me or Dupika? <laughs> what? Is it me or Dupika? <laughs>
I'm gonna let it all hang out. I'm gonna shake it all about. I'm gonna say what I mean and mean what I say and say what I feel. Yeah, <laughs> I guess that's it then. <laughs> 